to glory. Yo, what's going on, sexy simulator squad? How you guys doing today? I uh I'm doing something a little different. It's try hard Thursday. Um, so there's gonna be an hour long video for you today, but you might be noticing that I locked in Athena on try hard Thursday, and you're wondering to yourself, why the hell did he do that? Well, here's the thing. I've done so many try hard Thursdays, and you know, I'm I'm pretty okay at the game. So I think people would rather see me not try hard Thursday. And that's not what I'm calling this. It's not going to be like, like basically just no event video. Um, it's actually just going to be called don't try Thursday where I play gods and I'm not doing this more than once unless you guys want it, by the way. I named it Don't Try Thursday because it's funny to me. But I will only be doing this once if you guys only want to see it once. I'm not going to do, you know, if the comments are like, yo, just go kick back to Try Our Thursday. That was more enjoyable to watch. That's fine. That's okay. Um, and let me know in the comments, please. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It does help a lot. Uh, but I want to play gods that you wouldn't see me play on try hard Thursday specifically. In fact, kind of the opposite of those gods because it's more entertaining to see something you've never seen before or something you didn't think you would see on the channel than another week of, uh, you know, Kronos and Oyi and Hades and Uller and my mouse is going crazy right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Try to dash him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Try. Just try. Just try. Go ahead. Nope. Nope. Not today. Not today. Yeah. We're calling this Don't Try Thursday and uh, it's playing all the gods that you just wouldn't see on Thursdays. Also, I was a little over to the side too much. My bad. Um, can I get this red buff? I'd assume not. Well, I guess if he if he lets me have it, I can. Nice. Eh, don't really care about hitting you. I'm hitting you anyways. No, I'm not. Nope. Nope. I do not care that you want to hurt me. Okay, I don't. Also, I have beads, so I can kind of be really aggro here. Is Blink? He wants to push me under tower. Um, I think I can kill him here if I save my three. Oh. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Relax. Relax. A momentary. That is not that serious, my liege. Hello? Are you? Oh my god. You can't run from your face. Oh man. I really wanted that too. I mean, obviously. Name a piece of experience on the map that I don't care about. <laughs> I'm backing. Uh! Okay, I'm chilling. I am chilling. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, yo. That was scary. That was actually pretty terrifying. What the heck? What the heck, dude? I'm just gonna wait for this. Your middle tower Come on. That was terrifying. At least I get my blue buff, though. Blue buff is like the main thing. Like red buff is nice and all. Don't get me wrong. I love red buff. I love the damage. I'm a big damage dealer. Um, but what I am not 
is a big no mana lover. If I don't have mana, I don't have fun. I can do a little bit less damage and still have fun, you know, but no mana, that's a that's a game changer. You can't okay. run from your face. I don't know why you altered that. I'm just gonna back. Okay. Why are you doing this? Why? Why did you want to hurt me so bad that you hurt yourself, man? Why did you want to hurt me so bad? You hurt yourself. Also, stone cutting doesn't mean anything because you're getting physical protections with that item, and I am a mage. Well, I'm a guardian, but I'm a mage. Dude, I'm so excited for August 27th. If you guys didn't know, by the way, uh, the the 24-7 open beta, or I, technically it's an open alpha, I think, of Smite, or Smite 2, launches on August 27th, which means that's the day that my channel, I mean, maybe August 28th, because I don't know how the servers are going to be, but one of those days, 27th or 28th, is going to be when my channel as a full come to Jesus and transitions to Smite 2. That is so fucked up that you would blink. That is so rude. I horn charted for that, man. You should have respected that. You should have respected that. This will ensure our resolve remains unyielding. Uh, let's Wait, he went stone cutting Ichival? Brother. I mean, Itch of All is good, but like, not if you can't auto me. Um. No, he's doing it. He can't. All right. I guess I should have gone over there. In my defense, hello. What are you doing? Look at that damage, dude. Um, now you might think you can get this, but I'm here to tell you that no, sir, Bob. No, sir, Bob, you are not allowed. There it is. There it is. Get in there. I'm almost max level. Max level on Athena is level 15, so. Which, honestly, it sounds good, because you're like, wow, you hit that so fast. All your abilities are doing maximum damage at level 15. Which does, it does sound good. And then you realize, wait a second, he can go up to 20. And I've just nerfed myself five entire levels. Worth of abilities. I still get the stats, which is nice and all, but... Actually, I'm not sorry. Why did you just run away? You just booked it. Okay. I don't understand. Why did... Oh, actually, yes, I do. Because he can get red buff now. Okay. I get it. I get it. But not if he doesn't know I'm here. He thinks I backed 14 days ago. Fuck. I guess the wrong side. Let's try it. What's good, gamer? You can't run from he all did it. Oh god, am I dead? Ooh. Okay. He's got low cooldown. He's got low cooldown. He's got low cooldown. I'm chilling. Oh fuck, he has blink. He blinked to my blue. This you freak. What the hell, man? 
How dare you? Who do you think you are? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you so dead you're gonna wish that you were dead before. That's right. That's right. I don't do nearly enough damage to do this. <laughs> this felt a lot more badass in my head. Me running him down and then hitting his phoenix. That's unfortunate. Going auto attack. <clears throat> Does he think he can beat me with auto attack here? Because that is abysmal. You, you can heal if you want. I'm cool with it. Nice. All right, we've gotten the Phoenix. Now I just got to get the Titan. This is the hard part. It's really easy to get a Phoenix if you just kill them a bunch. But it's really hard to kill a Titan. Especially if you can't do that much damage at once to it. Like if you can burst it down and then like die and then reburst it again when you spawn, that's fine. That can work, but I can't do that. I don't have cooldowns for that. My brain thought, okay, get Staff of Mirrodin. Oh my god. You can't run from your face. Someone just typed in my Twitch chat and you can see the message. Um but I like literally I'm not streaming. <laughs> So I don't know if you're on right now, but I've been a fan for years and I'm hoping to go oh, hopping in dual queue Godspeed because it's Thursday. <laughs> that's a funny comment. That's a good, that's a good comment. I appreciate that one. Are you dead? You are dead. Do I win off that? No, they're not tanky enough. They can take approximately two hits. I'll dash through here. I don't know. I don't really do enough damage. I just kind of want to like poke it down to like half health. Oh, God. oh goodness. Yep. Well, this is blink. That's fine by me. I have zero mana though, so he gets red buff again, which is pretty unfortunate, but. I shall unleash my full it is what it is, I guess. All right, I'm going to go Chrono Spending because I need max cooldown. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go Poly because I have a lot of lifesteal. So Poly is going to give me more power. Uh, but on top of that, it's going to give me uh, ranged poke damage, which is really, really nice. Really, really nice. If I can get Polly before his Phoenix spawns, which I don't, I don't think I can. Maybe if I do it in his fountain, I can. Okay. All right. Why do I beat that? Oh. Okay, I guess this Phoenix spawning literally doesn't even matter because I should be able to win the game here. If you didn't know, by the way, um, I saw a comment saying that they were, they didn't know. If the Titan is currently aggroed and his aggro does not get dropped by anything, then you can still damage the titan while the phoenix has respawned if the phoenix respawns before the titan has aggroed then it becomes immune so because i had a wave in there or i was in there um i can still kill the titan while the phoenix is up anyways i'll see you guys in game two yo welcome back to don't try thursday we're playing chong ah today game two we're fighting a poseidon which is a little weird also, did the servers go down?
because I've been I've been on the screen for a second now, and I I'm just a little. It's back. Okay, fantastic. Um, but yeah, I am playing Chang'e because I never played Chang'e. First off, first and foremost, and secondly, um, I don't I don't necessarily like Chang'e. So because of both of those things. It means I, I, I don't think she's very good in duel. Or in general, really, but like in duel specifically. Now here's here's I'm gonna yap a little bit about why I think Chang is not great, but why she can be great. And why I don't play her pretty much ever, uh, in any mode. Other than maybe Joust, because she's kind of strong in Joust. Okay. So, reason one. She is very item dependent. Being an item dependent character is not necessarily a bad thing, but you need some sort of base damage to carry you through the early game and the mid game if you are an item dependent character. Chang Ah does not have the base damage necessary to carry her through said early and late game or early and mid game. Um, in the late game, she is one of the highest burst damage characters in the entire video game. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's insane. If you get blink ulted by a Chang'e, you will just die. There's you you don't really have any options. I like I don't want to be the one to like ruin your day or anything, but um you're going to see some Chang'e's on the battlefield today and they're going to be late game and they're going to have double stacking items and they will kill you before you can react. That's just that's just how Chang'e plays. Now in the early game, as I said, I am very very weak. It takes me multiple ability casts in order to do pretty much anything um to not only him but even like the wave um so i feel like because of that and because of the fact that i can't really you're giving me this right no but because i i stand no threat of killing him or anyone when you play chang'e um because you're not a threat to them, it's very easy for them to feel overconfident. I might be able to kill here if minions can get in there. Ooh, nice. Um, it's very easy for them to feel overconfident and just W key you down. And when they W key you down, because you don't have the base damage to deal with them, um, you're just going to die to them most of the time. Which, I mean, it's a little sad, but that's just how it is. That is just how it is. The moon grows uh, let's do this and this. So the reason that I'm getting both tier two items is because Sorcerer's Staff gives you the HP and the mana, 15% of it, um, back every time you level up. So the value that that tier two item has diminishes over time. So keeping it as a tier two for longer is more, I guess, it's not ideal technically. I can sit in this because I'm not scared of is all um but it's, it's pretty good to keep that as a tier 2 item because you get a lot of value out of it or you know until you're like level 18 um and then the book of thoth i can start stacking immediately by getting this tier 2 item right now because it gives you a stack every time you hit an ability there is an internal cooldown um but Every four seconds that you hit an ability, you get a stack of it. So, just by getting tier two of that and tier two of Warlock Staff, I'm able to, to get value out of my Warlock Staff while maintaining additional value from Book of Secrets. Basically, just making sure my money's working for me, you know? He definitely wants that blue. What if I just ran through power here? Oh my goodness. All right, I'm chilling. Get served. Perfect. Perfect. I mean that alt that alt combo just does so much damage. The alt combo just does so much damage, and you know I'm not really doing that much damage. It looks like I'm doing a lot, but that's because I'm two levels ahead of him. Um, I do want this rock. I don't actually think he can push me off of it. 
by the way after double stacking or like like getting the tier twos um i want to make sure by the way i'm taking i'm taking this poke and trying to <clears throat> get stacks on my book of secrets right now Just are wondering why i'm being like randomly super aggressive for no reason um <clears throat> I forgot what I was saying before that. Oh, why did I? Ouch. I immune nothing and then took two fucking hits. Uh, he might have alt up. I could die here. I need to wait for my two. I focused him instead of the wave again, just to book a secret stack. He does have Bancrofts, which makes it really hard for me to kill him. Um, <clears throat> There's some misconceptions, by the way, that people think they know about Smite, but they don't know. Starting with... <clears throat> excuse me. He surrendered. Okay. Starting with number one. Class boosts. Mages get more power. Assassins get more base pen. Uh, Guardians get more defense. Warriors get cooldown. That was removed about a year ago, a full year ago. So you don't get any of those class bonuses anymore. That's just some some hoopla that you're hearing. It, it doesn't exist. You don't get any additional bonuses for being a specific class. Okay? Secondly, Poseidon 2 does do more damage to towers. It gives you more attack speed. And it does more damage, just the damage number itself. Okay. And thirdly, something that everybody forgets that exists is Fenrir, when he ults at full runes, gets double the protections. So that, that Fenrir running at you is not burstable in a conquest game. I'm saying this because I know so many people that are like, oh, just kill the Fenrir when he ults. He'll die instantly because he's the assassin. He's no, he's got no tank. He still has 200 protections. Trust me. He's not going to die instantly. Anyways, see you guys in game three. Yo, what's up? Welcome back. Game three. Don't try Thursday. I'm playing Ymir. This one might be a little bit of a shock to some of you guys because, um, you know, Ymir looks very good in the hands of Hatmaster or Rainian. Um, but I assure you, he's not. He's not good. He's still a guardian and he still has incredibly high cooldowns. So, 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 so such high cooldowns um and then with itch of all being in the game and um with itch of all being in the game and being acceptable to use like an actual good item physical gods just kind of run over you i got a little bit lucky with him being a mage i got very unlucky with him being chronos because he has two hp bars and i don't know if i can deal with that but i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna be ymir and, um, yeah, it's just a god that I would not play on Try Hard Thursday, so we're playing it on Don't Try Thursday. So far, what have we done? Athena, Ymir, and Chang'a? I think next up, maybe we'll slap a Daji game, because I never play Daji, and also I think she's terrible in duel. If most of your damage has to be channeled, and you're not, you're not sustaining through that channel damage, then, like, what's the point in playing video games, honestly? All right, cool. Nah. Nah, you won't do it, though. Alright, cool. Cool. I think this is actually good for me. I'm not even lying. Because he wasted gold. Hello? Hello? He wasted gold um, trying to, you know, get that instead of the wave or get his blue buff instead of the wave. Uh, but then on top of that, I'm also getting the red buff and I have my sustain from Curse Weaver, so it's not like a big deal. There it is. There it is. And that Curse Weaver sustain coming in clutch to be able to clear another wave here. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I feel like... I feel like Ymir, when he ults, should be able to 
regain mana like Sobek does. Because I feel like I'm only allowed to use like four abilities before I'm out of mana. Which just does not feel good, man. I mean, that's another reason why he's not that great in general. And I, I have, I have Curse Weaver too, which gives me mana. No, please. Nice. It literally gives me a hundred mana. Hello. I, I can't kill you. I think you know I can't kill you. Wait. Get away from me. This is mine. All right. Now. Yo, I'm not going to lie. He's in a dangerous spot. He might just be dead. I got it. I don't have any mana though. Yeah, I got no mana. If I had enough to either wall him or use my two, he would die. To literally either of those abilities. But... Unfortunately, the man is is dragging me down. I'm gonna go Genji's here because it gives you a lot of HP or a lot of mana. I don't know why it was so hard for me to say mana. It doesn't give you mana; it gives you MP5. That's what I'm trying to say. Not HP5 and not mana. It's the mana version of HP5. It's MP5. There we go. Got there. Got there in the end. It gives you 40 MP5, and I have 47. So, not only do I have low mana, but I also have low base MP5. Hello. Nope. Are right, you alting? Lovely. I'm gonna run away. I missed. Right, stun me. I think he might be dead here. Nice. All right, that one, I'm not going to lie to you. That one's just kind of lucky. He should not have fought. Like, after he ulted back, obviously you're like, okay, I ulted. I'm full HP. I want to fight a little bit. But when I immune your ult or your stun with my ult, there's really no point in fighting anymore. You've already won the fight because I'm down an ult, you know? You got nothing else to prove. Fighting after that is is bad all right let's grab this i can probably kill him to be honest with you yes. okay. i kind of want bancrofts i mean your beads are down which means i'm pretty sure you're dead okay and you're not dead because i can't hit anything did you get your blue? Yeah, you did. I'll just go to my blue. But there's no way, Gamer. Why did you just walk over there? Surely you saw me walking back over to my blue. That's a little bit of opportunity management right there. It's something a lot of Smite players lack. Or a lot of game players in general lack is this thing i i don't know what it's actually called but i call it opportunity management it's where you set your mind on something and then you're able to detract your mind from that current main objective to do side objectives during it. like for instance what i did there was i set my mind i want to do blue buff okay but then I did the side objective. You're you're fucking deceased here. Never mind. I did the side objective of um Oh, stay in there. Oh, I thought that would kill him. That would have been so funny. Oh. No. Damn it. Okay, sorry. 
my main objective was blue buff my side objective was when i saw him clearing the wave right there um in my mind he has to go back okay you actually can't win the fight in my mind he has to go back into his tower because if he doesn't you know he's got no beads and i'm i'm able to get that kill right again you know you do have to have some kind of internal cooldown on you know what abilities they have up what relics they have up stuff like that but for the most part you can think about what would be good for him to do and what can you do to make it a, a positive for you instead of a positive for him so it, he's clearing the wave there and i'm running to blue buff right if i don't see him under tower it means he's either going this way or this way like he's walking to me to either invade my blue buff or come to me through this little tunnel right so what do i do i take that opportunity i've been gifted an opportunity and i'm going to to try my best to take advantage of it i'm gonna stray away from my initial idea of that blue buff um if you don't have all your guys okay. i'm gonna stray away from my initial idea of that blue buff and i'm gonna cut him off the second i didn't see him going under tower i knew for a fact that he was either going to hold on this is important okay got the beads there i'll take that when i didn't see him under tower like i said he's got two options he's going to he's going to two places and that's it he's either running directly to me at this corner or he's going to be invading my blue he's not in a position in the game where he can successfully invade my blue so i know it's like a 70 30 chance he runs this way and not this way okay this is all happening in my head in a, like a half of a second okay um when he's running that direction i've already guaranteed a kill in my mind like if he's walking to me he's already dead i don't want this stun to hit me. okay i got hit by it anyways but it doesn't matter because i got good cooldowns So yeah, that's, that's an example of opportunity management. Straying away from the initial path to further better yourself in the game by taking advantage of an opportunity that presented itself. In, in like one second. Simply one second. Don't get so tunnel focused on things, man. You know? Tunnel visioned. People have a lot of, uh, a lot of issues with tunnel vision in general in video games especially pvp games you know if, if you're like if you're playing a like a story mode game it's very easy to be like yeah i want to do all the, the side quests before i do the main story obviously if you're playing a pvp game all you think about is one thing at a time because all of the all of the branching paths like in a story mode game there's like path main story path side quest path here this thing is spawning maybe i can farm that for a drop you know but in pvp games there's infinite paths because this it's another human being playing the game you're not you're never going to know exactly what that person is going to do so there's infinite paths that you have to kind of adapt to on the fly um which makes it very much or very easy a lot easier to simply focus on one task but if you can ever learn okay if you can ever learn to split that um split that objective into a multi-objective thing that you can solve like almost like side quests then uh i'd say you will you will get infinitely better at smite don't care Oh, that's not good. Wait, wait, wait. And... Boop, boop. He beads it. My dude's using everything he has. Come here. No. I think he used his Aegis. And his beads and his ult. So it's not the worst thing in the world for me. But it is annoying. Because I could have killed him and gotten Phoenix. I'm going to go... Uh, 
I'm gonna go rod probably. The reason I'm not going life steal, by the way, is because I feel like I don't need it this game. I feel like one of us is gonna die quick enough that I don't need the life steal. All right. So he went to check on blue. When he didn't see blue, he had two options again. Go to there or go to there. So I'm going to check this because that's the only dangerous one. Let's see. Are you getting rock? Oh, you just back. All right. He went to check bull demon. I wasn't there and he just back. Fair play. by me i get a free ultimate i almost feel like i should go poly instead of rod but i i know like in my heart of hearts that i, I should get both regardless i can just rip a bull demon can i he's never gonna out secure my ult what am i doing i'm just letting chronos get the late game for free okay that's so stupid of me. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought for some reason I shouldn't do Bull Demon. My ult does like 3,000 damage. There's no way I get out to cure, right? I mean, right now it only does 1,600, but. With the power boost from Rod, too. Wow, he killed my whole wave that quick. Um, I get to save my ult, actually, on this bull demon clear. Nice. No idea where he is. I know he just spawned, but he's Chrono, so he's very quick. He go very, literally around any corner. Where are you, demon man? Oh, you're just over there. Oh, okay. That's a quick feed. I'd rather him not auto attack me all the time. I could have dropped my wall, but I thought I could hit him anyways. Uh, I'm just going to walk in here because the only thing he could do to stop me from doing damage is like burst me, but he almost got one hit. Oh, Oh, he lived through that. That's crazy. All right. I didn't know which way he was coming from. I was stressed out. I was stressed out. All right, we are full build, though, with Polly. Oh, my God. Once he gets that Fatalis, it's terrifying, huh? And he can backpedal. Then he can backpedal and kill me. Also, but I can just blink all the Titan. How much does this do now? 1800 plus the additional damage from... Um, okay, well, now it does more than that. It does 2000 damage. Plus the addi additional burst damage of Rod, which I think is 15%. 15%. Which is a lot of damage. I'm not going to do the math, but I'm just going to blink and all the Titan. So what, what, what is he going to do realistically? I'm actually surprised my alt only did 1500. But I guess I do have Chronos Pendant and a defensive item and a Polynomicon in my build. Where every single one of those options could have been more power. 
That's okay, though. That was a fun game. I'll see you guys in the next one. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to the last game of Don't Try It. And I am playing Daji. So we'll see what happens here. Surtur is one of the very best gods. So, well, okay. I won't say he's one of the very best gods. He's one of the very best gods that isn't normally banned. Like Morgan Le Fay, Surtur. Um, I would actually put, I'd actually put um, a lot of warriors up there. Because warriors are really, really strong right now. They're very strong right now. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to kill him early game, right? I don't know. Whatever. Let's just do this. Let's just see what happens. Uh, let's see. Am I one? My two? It's better for my two. Is he right here? Did I just see him right here? His gold is not going up, which makes me think he wants to invade. Oh no, he's doing red. Okay. Yeah. He clears a lot better than me. Oh, he's going straight up frostbound. Your middle tower is under Maybe just tier two frostbound, because tier two frostbound honestly is very, very good. It gives you a frostbound stack on the fifth auto. Which it doesn't sound like it's that much, but the chase that Surter has, it's kind of a lot. Clear this out. I assume he's gonna back. And I will just get this wave here because my two is surprisingly clearing pretty well. Yeah. I didn't expect my two to clear that well. But I'll take it. Oh no, he's going full frostbound first item. Sheesh. That is spooky. I think I'm going to go Berserkers. Actually, I'm going to go Breastplate. I want the cooldown. Ah, uh, no, I don't. I want the attack speed. One with more jewels on it? You don't get attack speed right now. I mean, you do, but it's only, it's only, uh, like four or 5% mainly because, well, and this lowers my attack speed by 25%. So actually I do nothing right now. I definitely cannot fight a warrior. Well, I can't fight a warrior in general, but a warrior with frost on is a big no-no. <laughs> there is absolutely no way I step up to that. I die instantly if I do that. Unless he's got no abilities up, but he's he's pretty tanky right now. So. It's fine. I just got to wait him out. I can't walk up to him or I'll get owned. Oop. All right. I don't much. I don't mind too much about that. I'm gonna be backing pretty much every wave, anyways. While he just tries to poke me. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll just do blue. I'm surprised he's not invading this, to be honest. I kind of expected him to. Just because, like, if he knows I can't fight him, he's got horrific and he's got frostbound. You know, it's, it's absolutely guaranteed that if we fought, I would get fucking owned. So, like, 
And he's Surter. He just has higher base stats than me, too. So I don't know why he's not uh, playing more aggressive, to be honest. But I guess I'm thankful for it. Let's get Berserkers. Um, and then I kind of feel like I need anti-heal. I don't feel like I need anti-heal. I also feel like I need sprint for sure this game. Or beads. Sprint or beads. Probably both. I'm pretty sure he just farmed everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he going Jotuns now? I mean, Frostbound is enough survivability for him. Does he have more health than me? He has more health than me by a lot. And I have a health item. I guess he also has a health item. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I cannot punch him in the head because I will get owned. But... If I can get full late game, like full late game, 3k pot and everything, I might be able to one hit him depending on his build. Unless he's got a bunch of defense, in which case I definitely cannot one hit him. Get a uh, thing here. Rock is spawning. I'm pretty sure I can't get this in time. I don't have the attack speed for it. Oh no, I do. Nice. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Is he going... Is that shifters? Frick, that's a really good item, huh? Shifters is a very good item. Oh, that that's another thing that, that wars are OP because of shifters and the Phoenix item. Phoenix item not so much in duel, but like in general. Oh god. Let's just get his alt here. Alright. Nice. Getting that blue buff feels good. With the horrific and everything. I don't do enough there. I don't do enough there. I think I have to go for an attack speed build. I did a lot of damage to him. Like as much as... As much as I want a heart seeker like burst build. I think I have to attack speed. Which is the worst. The worst feeling. Also, once he gets shifters, I'm just dead. That item is so strong. Does he already, does he already have shifters? Oh, he does. Okay. Ouch. Your middle tower is under attack. Ouch, Only ouch, the ouch. Finest blades will do. Wait, I didn't want Aussie. I wanted Kins. Oh, that is so criminal. How much health do you have? 2,071. My God, man. There's so much HP. I mean, Aussie's not bad, I guess. He has no anti-heal. But he does have a red buff, and two out of three of his items are some of the best in the game. Oh, 
I stink. Basically, that means he can get, uh, he can get, what is it called? Full demon. Back. Your middle tower is under attack. It does so much damage to me. I honestly don't even know like what I could do that would help with the damage output. I mean other than kins, but I'm a moron and I didn't buy kins. Dude, when he uses his one... When he uses his one... Hold on, I might live. Oh. Um... I didn't realize how bad of a matchup was. But when he uses... This... This matchup is. But... When he uses his one, it pops up in front of him. And... In front of me, too. So it's like, it's sandwiched between us. So my one did no damage to him that entire fight. Your tower Look, I have no one icon, but it hit his mini, his little minion, twice. That's such a bad matchup. He just completely negates my, uh, my one. I mean, also, Daji's terrible, right? There's that, too. <laughs> but, you know... 11 minutes in first blood I'm not I'm not too uh I'm not too upset about that this matchup is damn near impossible so I'll take I'll take being decent right now get him back friend the kins I mean kins might actually be a turning point I don't know. He does so much damage to me. Probably not. Oh, I cannot win this fight. this wave and hope to god that I can live somehow. Yeah. I'm just dead there. I don't know. The only thing I could do there is try to get the wave. So maybe he can't get hit my phoenix, but I also, like, I know I can't fight him right now as is, so maybe I, I just can't do it regardless. Yeah, he's got enough damage for it. Dying for Phoenix would li it'd literally lose me the game. I mean, he's three levels up at this point after that second kill. I don't know. Gracious. Hmm.
I can't kill him. He's so tanky, man. He's so tanky. I wonder if there was anything I could have like built that would have maybe made this go a bit smoother. Uh, not that. I wanted much of all. He just has such a big power spike. He's also, I'm pretty sure, gonna, yeah, go into more defense. Mm. I think I just lose here because I can't clear the fire minions. Yeah, unlucky. I mean, Kins did a, it, I mean, it helped, but I still just lose that fight instantly. Unfortunate. Surter's a good god. Taji's not a good god. One can clear and tank. One cannot clear or tank, so. Unlucky. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this Don't Try Thursday. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.